1985, a COVID comeback here in California. Another summer surge in cases, taking L.A. County back to the high transmission tier. Why you may have to start masking up again inside and soon. And they're calling it a systematic failure. Texas House investigators releasing their preliminary report on the Uvalde school shooting massacre, saying that the officers prioritized their own safety over the kids. Lawmakers saying police wasted precious time. And a blockbuster heist that sounds like a Hollywood thriller. Thieves target an armored brakes truck on the way to a gem and jewelry show here in Southern California. How they got away with a fortune. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 5. I'm Rick Chambers. Courtney's got this night off. It sounds like a plot out of a heist flick. Jewel thieves making off with an estimated $150 million in gems after robbing an armored truck driving from the Bay Area down here to Pasadena. Let's go to Jennifer McGraw. She's live at the Pasadena Convention Center tonight where that loot was headed to that show. Jen? Yeah, Rick, for those who are not familiar, we're talking about a traveling jewelry show that goes across the country. Anything from cheap costume jewelry and gems to expensive diamonds and Rolexes. That's why many of these vendors ship their goods in armed trucks.